Hi, thanks so much for joining us for the speed battle. In our previous video, we ended up showing you how to play the game Speed, where you can download on our website, the game board at SIS, the number four, teachers.org. Our favorite game from High Hill Education Supplies is the name is Speed with multiplication, learning it the fun way. You can, you can buy this in our store on our website. I'm going to now battle out my partner. We have our speed deck set up in the patterns of multiplication as we would learn them from our tens and fives, two, four, eight, three, six, nine, and seven. So we're gonna start off with the twos because my partner and I have gotten really good at the fives and the tens. So I'm gonna take our deck, I'm going to make it nice and shuffled. We're gonna play that speed two game. So we're gonna be going up and down by our name, of, by, the, by our speed two. I'm gonna go ahead and divide my deck and pass out back and forth so that we each have the exact same amount of cards. We're gonna go ahead and get our cards loaded on our spots as we showed in the previous video on how to get it set up. I'm gonna put my speed card down here. Remember, we can play off of both sides. The idea of this game is to be able to do it fast. So my partner wants to get rid of his set of cards before I get rid of mine. We can skip count forward or backwards by two. If we get stuck, we're going to flip it over. In the traditional game of speed, many students feel the need to yell out speed if they win. We don't need it to necessarily be that competitive in school. So you don't have to yell out the game speed in order to win this game because we don't always have a discard pile to flip from. We're gonna put our hands on our speed game and on your mark, get set, go. In this part, I just wanna point out real quick, we're gonna pause, it's 20. One of the things that we really need to be careful is if with it's 20, it can go back to 18 or it goes back up to two. So the two can have four on it or can go to 20. Okay, we're gonna continue play. So I'm gonna put that two there, but then right after it, I'm gonna put that 20 so we can continue kind of playing. At this point, I don't have anything that I can put on. My partner is stuck because this could either have a 20 or it could have a four. This could have a two or it could have an 18. We're gonna take one card from our pile and do a one, two, three flip to reset our cards to see. I'm gonna try to go fast with this game to see who can win. You gotta be faster than your partner because you wanna get rid of your cards before your partner does. You have to also be watching to see how the cards are changing. So in this case, we're gonna check our partner to see if he can go up or down with a 10 on his. He notices that he has an eight and then a 10 and then can also maybe play another card on that. Okay, we now have a four, so it can have a two or it can have a six. My partner's at a stalled point, but I'm going strong. Let's see how far we can go. We're now both at a, we're both stuck. We don't have either a eight or a four for this one or a 10 or a six. We're gonna go ahead and do a one, two, three, flip. Ooh, it's getting down to the wire. I have one card left. Ooh, we are stuck. Are we stuck? Let's see. We have a 14, so we can either go up by 16 or back to 12. Mm, does that help either of us? Nope, we are stuck at a 16 and 16. This is the point in the game where I'm out of cards, my partner's out of cards, so we're gonna use these discard piles to flip. Are you ready? One, two, three, flip. I won the game. 
You continue playing until somebody's out of cards. This is a great way to play the speed two game. Remember the one added rule that we talked about when you have that 20, you can either go back to the two or go back down to the 18. Again, when you flip a two, remember you can either go up to 20 or back to four. It kind of makes a continuous loop. This game is really fun to play in a tournament style. We kind of have an elite eight game that we could sign up our family members or friends in our classroom. And we could, in this case, would be playing the speed two game. So I would circle the speed two game, put the two players that we're gonna play, I would have been the winner of that game and would have awaited my other friends to be so I could come up with a champion. So it's really great also to use at a parent night to be able to give every family a speed game to take home with them, even as early as kindergarten, for them to be able to learn how to play the game speed as early as even skip counting by twos and fives, and then eventually the game can grow with them. We hope you had fun with us playing the game of speed. Check out our other video to show an example of doing a higher level speed. Thanks so much for joining us. Our website is sis4teachers.org.